Larian made us wait for it at the Game Awards. Let me just say that, but it absolutely did not disappoint. I'm sorry, I got a big smile on my face right now. There's a lot going on right now. So not only did we get a new trailer for Baldur's Gate 3 with a ton of stuff to break down, and I will do a breakdown video here really, really soon, but we also got a release month for the game. Yes, an official release for the game. And we got to see the Collector's Edition. Let's jump right into it. Let me start off by showing you all the biggest news, which is this right here. There's someone I want you to meet. A friend who sees the world. So August of 2023 is the release month for version 1.0 for Baldur's Gate 3. Those of you that have been keeping up with Early Access, you would know that since Early Access came out, we've only had access to an unfinished Act 1 of the game. So in August of next year, which is about nine months away, we'll all be diving into three of the game's full acts. Anyone who's played Early Access Act 1 a million times, like myself, the cool thing is that Larian did announce a few months ago that there will be a whole new experience for players like us at launch. So Act 1 should still have some juice left in it for all of you guys that have been playing a crap ton. Now, will there be a delay? Anything is of course possible. So don't tell your boss that you're using your vacation time for the entire month of August right now. I would say at the very least, the game I'm fairly confident will be coming out in 2023. And I think August is probably pretty likely and let's hope that it actually happens. But hey, this is the gaming industry, so be prepared for anything. To nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. Now, as far as the new trailer goes, and I should have it playing for you all right now, like I said, there's a lot to break down and get into, and I am going to do a separate video for that to really give it the time that it deserves in the next day or two. But Cliff Notes, we got to see Minsk and Boo in flesh, or video game flesh. I don't, I don't know how I would say that. But actually, looking at it right now, I don't see Boo, but we did see Boo in the previous trailer that Larian released on Twitter recently. Maybe Boo is not with Minsk at this time and we have some quests to go rescue Boo. That would be pretty epic. But Minsk and Boo are a human and miniature giant space hamster duo that are probably the most iconic characters from the original Baldur's Gate games. But we also got to see Jahira, who was the narrator for the entire trailer. Two very important characters from the original Baldur's Gate games, and they're now both absolutely confirmed to be showing up in Baldur's Gate 3. Now, whether they'll be, you know, playable companions or interactable NPCs or camp followers, or I'm not entirely sure, but I would imagine that at least one of them, either Minsk and Boo or Jahira, will be a companion that you can play and have in your party and probably play as an origin character. But maybe both of them will be. We're going to have to wait and see. Now, other really quick things, it seems like we saw an orc or a half orc and half orcs were pretty much already guaranteed to be a playable race if you ask me and full orcs i don't think that that'll be a playable race but we should see them you know out and about and i think we probably saw an azimar which is a highly requested race from fifth edition DD. &D. or maybe it's a celestial angel i haven't had time to really analyze and process this yet and of course we saw a paladin do divine smite and the paladin class has been the class that's speculated to come with patch nine which is next week so quick friendly reminder the next panel from hell and patch nine will be wednesday of next week december 14th at 1 p.m eastern and i will be streaming that here on this channel and for the final part of the video let's of course talk about the newly announced collector's edition and larian did drop a mini trailer for this over on twitter so let's watch that first Okay, and I'm exploring this with you guys basically for the first time right now too, but if we go over to Baldur's Gate 3 game, we can see this broken down into individual pieces so we can see what we're going to get. Um, the first thing I should mention here is that it costs $269.99 US dollars. Now, as someone who doesn't typically buy collector's editions for games, I do gotta say, after looking at the Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition and comparing it to this one, this one is so much better. Now, I'm not here to sell this to you guys. I could Give, give two shits if you buy it or if you don't buy it, but I am gonna go over it because I'm interested in it because I'm probably gonna get it for free, streamer privilege. But uh, yeah, so I don't care if you guys buy it or you don't buy it, but I do think it's cool when companies uh, 
companies try to make money by doing things like this as opposed to doing microtransactions. So I think it's really valuable for companies to make a really, really good quality game. And then all the products they can sell from making that quality game outside of that quality game, I think this is how companies should do it instead of doing, uh, you know, a half-assed game, having a ton of microtransactions, also having a collector's edition and all that, but whatever. Okay, so let's talk about it. So the first thing you're gonna get is the Mind Flayer vs. Drow Battle Diorama. And as you can see here, there is a Mind Flayer fighting a Drow. I wish we knew who that Drow actually was. And the description reads as an 1100 gram, 25 centimeter battle diorama of a Mind Flayer and a Drow locked in a deadly exchange of blade and psionic might. This collector's edition statue is made from high quality PVC, ABS, plastics, and features a finely painted and hand finished round scenic base. I don't know what any of that means, but it looks pretty cool. I should also quickly mention before we get too deep into this is that Larian says that all pre-orders will ship for the launch window in August 2023. Date is TBD, but then in the FAQ it actually says our goal is to ship the collector's edition to you in time for the full release of Baldur's Gate 3. All right, and then we get a hardcover art book. Explore the art and design of BG3 in this hardcover art book written by Larian. Features approximately 160 pages of concept art and environmental design inspired by the Forgotten Realms. Inner pages printed on satin 170 GSM gilded foil edged paper. Yep, they already lost me there, but it sounds good. And then we have the Tadpole Keyring. A Tadpole inspired metal keyring made from zinc alloy. And then of course we have some classic Larian humor here. Unlikely to trigger ceramorphosis, excuse me, ceramorphosis if inserted into brain. Do not insert into brain. Uh, then we have the Baldur's Gate 3 D20, an oversized custom engraved metal die based on BG3's digital dice design. And you guys will notice that it does look pretty similar to what we get to roll in the game. And then we have character sheets, which is kind of pretty cool, especially because this game is largely based off of 5th edition. Larian is showing some love to all the D&D players out there. And we have a set of four page D&D character sheets for each Baldur's Gate 3 origin character and then we have stickers 32 die cut vinyl stickers inspired by bg3 includes adorable custom illustrated characters and larian warrior logos we have baldur's gate 3 digital copy of baldur's gate 3 for pc and this is a digital steam download so you're not getting like a metal hard cased physical edition of the game this might just be like like might just be like paper or or hard paper like cardboard but i know there is an faq down here somewhere and i think there's something that talks about yeah here we go is a physical disc with the baldur's gate 3 included in your collector's edition no all bg3 collector's editions include a digital version of the game that can be redeemed via steam so this is not a a lot of collector's editions do have like a hardcover physical game that doesn't seem to be the case for this particular collector's edition then we have a cloth map of Faerun, a single-sided a3 map of Faerun made from silk satin fabric for easy unfurling while trudging through swamps. And that is the map that you can actually see in the game if you go to certain areas that would normally take you away from the Act 1 area, but are currently cut off because we cannot go there in early access. Then we also get Magic the Gathering booster packs, but these are limited to the first 15k orders. Three Magic the Gathering booster packs containing the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate card set featuring characters from BG3. And you can actually see Boo on the cover here, which is cool. So Magic the Gathering has teamed up with D&D and Larian, and now they're doing some Magic the Gathering BG3 themed magic cards. Now, Wizards of the Coast owns all of this, so it, it makes sense that they teamed up. But still, it's kind of unique to have BG3 in Magic the Gathering. And then there's a collector's edition certificate, a certificate of authenticity serialized with a unique number of your collector's edition. I didn't even know that was a thing. Single sided with spot varnish, hot foil and blind to boss. Frame it above the mantelpiece if you're so inclined. Uh, it's pretty cool. Not really something that interests me, but I, I don't know. It looks like they put a lot of uh, attention to detail in the artwork of it. And then we're back to the Mind Flayer Drow vs. Battle Diorama. Like I mentioned earlier, there is an FAQ for the Collector's Edition specifically down here at the bottom of this webpage, and I will link this below in the video description. It talks about things such as you can actually cancel your pre-order before the shipment has been arranged. Simply contact us. How do I change my shipping address? What currencies your site in euro and US dollars? 
Where do you deliver your orders? We currently are shipping to all countries within the European Union, including UK and Norway, the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and all sorts of questions like that. Now, a few people have already messaged me asking me, I don't have an answer to this, but they've messaged me asking me if I've already pre-ordered the game, I'm an early access player, how can I also get the collector's edition without having to, you know, pay the 269 because you already bought the $60 game in early access. And it does feel kind of weird to, you know, have supported early access and then the collector's edition comes out and you have to buy the whole thing and also get another copy of the game. So I don't know if Larian has a plan for this or what. I just wanted to make sure I brought attention to it because if some people were asking me and I started thinking about it, I was like, okay, yeah, maybe there should be a, like a cheaper version that doesn't come with the game or something along those lines. And that's all I got for you all today. It is currently 3.30 a.m. in the morning right now. We just got done watching the game awards and I'm trying to process all this and get this initial video out like i said i'll have an in-depth you know frame by frame breakdown of that trailer that we recently got out within within the next day or two thank you guys so much for you know coming to this channel for rpg and baldur's gate 3 information excited for the future of rpgs and of course baldur's gate 3 and i'll catch you guys on the next one